Welcome to A level chemistry. Our topic for today is entropy and Gibbs free energy. So we've already talked about uh, energy changes, lattice energy and uh, different types of enthalpies but entropy is something new, it's a new concept and I will be explaining it to you and it is very important because even in, in our higher studies it becomes irrelevant in both chemistry and physics and <clears throat> it defines the law of sec uh, the second law of thermodynamics so it's very important so what is entropy entropy is a measure of a of the disorder of a system this may sound very vague but this is exactly what it is it is the measure of disorder of a system so what i mean by disorder is for example I have an ionic lattice which is an alternating arrangement of positive and negative ions. So I have an ionic lattice let's just make one more go and then let's discuss. So this is an ionic lattice, it's an alternating, alternating arrangement of positive and negative ions and we know that these ionic, the ionic bonds that are holding this lattice together are so strong that it's a very ordered arrangement, it's a very ordered structure. So this order stru ordered structure, so we know that it is like very tight, it is very rigid and uh, <coughs> this is what makes it uh, this is because it is ordered and the ionic bonds that are holding these together are ordered. Now let's look at a liquid. So liquid molecules will be slightly further apart than the solid. So these are, the li these are liquid molecules. Now if you see that these are not so ordered because there is a distance between them. They are moving in this, they are not moving. But in this, they are moving. Uh, they, uh, so in a solid, so this is an ionic lattice, but if I take a typical solid, for example, so this is a typical solid, we don't know if it's an ionic lattice, a metallic so la solid or whatever, but it's a solid, we know it's a solid, it's a typical solid, and we know that it is, it, the only movements that the atoms or particles will make will be to and fro about their fixed position. The, so this is, the structure is so ordered that these particles will not move, the only movements they will make will be to and fro about their fixed position. However, in the liquid, the, the, move, uh, the particles can slide over each other and they are slightly less ordered because, uh, because the, the particles are further apart. So they are slightly less ordered, which means we can say that they are more disordered than solids. So the entropy of liquids will be greater than that of solids. So we know that a liquid will have greater entropy than solids because entropy is a measure of, a dis or of the disorder of a system and liquid, uh, so the entropy of a liquid would be greater than that of solids. Then we have third state of matter which is gas. So these particles will be like this. They will be more disordered than both liquids and solids because the particles are so far apart and they are constantly moving, bouncing off each other, bouncing off the walls of the container they are in and they are just constantly in motion and as you can see they are so far apart, so far apart. So we have uh, the solids, we have the solids which are so ordered, we have the liquids which are slightly less ordered and the particles are moving over each other and then we have the gases which are high, which are highly disordered, so uh, the liquids are less ordered than the solids which means they are more disordered than the solids, the liquids are more disordered than the solids and the gases are the most disordered because the, the particles are so far apart from each other and they are constantly bouncing off each other, bouncing off the walls of the container. So gases have the highest entropy. So gases will have more entropy than both liquids and solids. So this is the entropy of uh, gases, liquids and solids and as we go further we will realize how this works. So 
Entropy change tells us about the feasibility of chemical and physical changes.